Welcome to Electron Online, and now let's do an example that has an exponential function in the expression. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 minus e to the x divided by 1 plus 2 e to the x. And of course, if we now plug in the limit, let x be infinite, we have 1, 1 minus e to the infinity divided by 1 plus 2 times e to the infinity. So we end up with a negative infinity divided by a positive infinity, and of course that's undefined. We cannot do that. So we have to come up with a trick again. The trick here is to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 1 over e to the x. So this can be written as times 1 over e to the x divided by 1 over e to the x. Again, it's this whole expression here is equal to 1, so we're not changing the value of the expression. It's still the same, but now we'll put it into a format that will allow us to plug in the limit. So let's try and see what that looks like. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity. When we multiply 1 times that, we get 1 over e to the x minus e to the x divided by e to the x is equal to 1. And that's the whole thing divided by 1 plus 2 times. Oh, wait a minute. I have to divide this by e to the x as well, so that's 1 over e to the x plus 2 times e to the x divided by e to the x is simply plus 2. Now when we plug in the limit, we get 1 over e to the infinity minus 1 divided by 1 over e to the infinity plus 2. Of course, 1 divided by e to the infinity, e to the infinity is still infinity, and any number divided by infinity is 0. So this becomes 0 minus 1 divided by 0 plus 2. For the same reason in the denominator, we get the same result. The zeros drop out, so this is equal to minus 1 over 2. And that would then be the limit of this expression when we let x go to infinity. And that's the trick on how we do this one.